In the spring of 2013, the Trust undertook the conservation of the mural, then in severely degraded condition. Aesthetically compromised by a century's worth of dirt and grime, and under threat from damage to the plaster upon which it is painted, the mural was in a less than optimal state of conservation. The mural at the start of the project was very dark, um, spatially flat. The mural had been uh, worked on about 30 years ago because of the um, nature of the wall behind it. The plaster was cracking and some of the um, actual paint layer was flaking off and so it was repaired, but it was never cleaned. So basically for over a hundred years it had never been cleaned and so it had soot and grime that normally accumulates on artwork and it was above a working fireplace. The cleaning system that we designed uh, was very specific for this mural. It was a very mild solvent. We put it on in a gel form. Therefore, we could use time as an element also instead of having to go over and over one area with the solvent. We just left the gel on for about two minutes and um, then we would take it off and clear it with distilled water. It's a mural, but it's painted directly onto the plaster. It's not painted on canvas and then the canvas put on the wall, which is a different type of mural. This, is, this was made to almost mimic a, a fresco, to make it look like a fresco. And the trouble with that is once the wall behind um, the artwork uh, delaminates or the plaster gets loose, obviously you're losing the actual artwork. The cracks and other areas of loss in the mural um, were consolidated with um, an acrylic emulsion. Some of the smaller losses, we use a traditional material called gesso, which is calcium sulfate and, and animal glue. All of the materials that we use for the consolidation are uh, reversible and compatible. The process of in-painting is a very precise uh, method for compensating for losses in color. It's a pinpoint process where we just only fill in where it was missing. Never add more to it. You know, we're not trying to compete with the artist. We just want to put back what was lost. Um, we use materials, again, which are compatible and reversible. In this case, we used Windsor & Newton watercolors because they're very fine quality pigment. Um, and they deliver the same luster and uh, saturation that we want. They're color fast, um, but they are also highly reversible um, by a conservator in the future. We discovered in the Genie, the halo of the Genie uh, had been previously gilt with um, high quality gold leaf. We just found uh, remnants of this, but um, it was exciting to discover. There were just traces of it, but enough to decide that we would re-gild the whole um, halo. And we used 23 karat Italian gold and brought it back to how Frank Lloyd Wright envisioned it. The results of the conservation are dramatic. The bold, distinctive forms of the mural are no longer obscured by dirt and grime. Details come to life and definition is restored. The vibrant colors bring a remarkable sense of depth to the mural, strengthening its position in the room. The treatment reveals for the first time in more than a century Wright's original vision for this integral element of his children's playroom.